the seeds sown on good soil. In the parable of the sower in Matthew 13 verses 18 to 23, Jesus talked about the good soil as one of the places where the seed was sown. The seed referring to the gospel of the kingdom fell in the good soil which bore much fruit, yielding into a hundredfold, another sixty and another thirty. Writer Julie Kamarin explains, the seeds that were planted on different surfaces were the same, but it is the soil that is something special about it. It received the seed and nurtured it. This type of surface is good for the seed to be planted as it has heard the word and understands it. This soil does not have more, it has less. Less rocks, less thorns, less hardness, less cares, less worries, and less distractions, so it has more room for the seed to work and produce. The soil here is used as a metaphor for our hearts. Our hearts must be a fertile ground that gladly receives and perceives His message. We must let it shape our lives by His grace and for His glory. God's word planted in good soil is never stopped, stunted by life's worries, nor choked by earthly things. Rather, it nurtures its doers into growth, maturity, and fruitfulness. Our Lord Jesus pointed to himself as the key to fruitfulness. John 15 verses 4 to 5 says, Remain in me and I in you, just as a branch is unable to produce fruit by itself unless it remains on the vine, neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him produces much fruit, because you can do nothing without me. To bear much fruit, God's word must remain firmly planted in our hearts, as we remain firmly attached to Jesus, the sower and the vine. God bless.